Greetings Seawolves! My name is Alana and this is the event preview where we keep you up to date on all things happening in the world and all things Scholars Academy. Here's what's happening from October 22nd to October 28th. The end of Term 1, marking period 1, is this Friday the 27th, which means that it's the time to celebrate our first group of outstanding scholars, the staff of the month, and the Hispanic Heritage Month cultural celebration. On Thursday, the 26th, our high school will attend the OS assembly, starting with the 9th and 10th graders at 9 a.m., followed by the 11th and 12th graders at 10:15 a.m. On Friday, the middle schoolers will attend the OS assembly starting with 7th grade cohort B, along with the entire 8th graders, followed by the entire 6th graders and 7th grade cohort A at 10:15 a.m. Please remember that this is an official event and proper theater behavior is expected of everyone in attendance. Attention high school students, we're so excited to bring back the Afro and Caribbean Dance Residence Program this year. If you are interested in participating in the residency this year, learning and performing dance, please fill out the interest form located on your grade-wide Google Classroom by Monday, October 23rd. This program will take place on Friday afternoons from 1.10 to 2.20 starting Friday, October 27th and will last for 14 weeks. You must be able to commit to all of the practices in order to be a part of the February Black History Month performance and celebration. Please respond to all questions and answers in complete sentences. Signups will be first come, first serve. And now, here's Patrick with the sports and after school news report. Thanks, Alana, and hello again, everybody. Another week of sports in the books, and now here comes more news on yet another packed week in the sports department. On Monday, October 23rd, our boys cross-country team will be having another meet at Cunningham Park at 4 o'clock p.m. Make sure to go out to support our boys as they head up to the races once again. Following that, on Tuesday, October 24th, our girls cross-country team once again will be having a meet at Cunningham Park at 4 o'clock p.m., so good luck to our cross-country team. Also, our boys bowling team, continuing their impressive undefeated streak, We'll have one of their final meets at 4 o'clock p.m. at FunFest Lanes, so go bowl, boys. A bit of an important note before we move on, a bowling meet for our boys was originally scheduled to occur on Wednesday, October 25th at 4 o'clock p.m. However, that has been postponed. In addition, make sure to go out on Tuesday, October 24th, as our girls' varsity soccer team will be playing at Fort Tilden against Epic High School North in their senior night game. Now... Did you know that our girls have an undefeated streak as of the time of this recording? Well, girls, keep it up. Wait, we have more Tuesday games? Oh, yes, we do. Our girls' volleyball team here at home at 4.30 p.m. Make sure to come out to support our Lady Seawolves and also make sure to tune in to our Vimeo and other socials page where you may come to find a live stream of sorts. Finally, on Saturday, October 28th, our co-ed cross-country team, both boys and girls, will be having a group meet at 9 o'clock a.m. once again at Cunningham Park. So have fun out there, guys. And now, moving gears to our middle school. We still have our middle school girls volleyball team tryouts still ongoing, and games should be starting up relatively soon. So stay tuned as we provide you more information from the serving posts as soon as they come in. In addition, we will keep you posted on all things middle school sports as soon as we get them, so make sure to check after school sports calendar, on our landing page, or other sources of information for the latest middle school and high school sports information. And now, here is Toomey with the world news and cultural events. Thanks, Patrick. On Tuesday, October 24th is Desara, a major Hindu festival celebrated every year at the end of Navarati. It is observed on the 10th day on the month of Ashvin, the seventh in the Hindu Luni solar calendar. On Saturday, October 28th, the Howard Beach Kiwanis Club is celebrating their 37th Halloween par parade, to which our marching band has been invited. Lineup starts at 10.30 a.m. Step off is promptly at 11 a.m. on 159th Ave, Cross Bay Boulevard. The parade ends on 160th Ave, where the Kiwanis is providing community members with food and gifts. This event is not a scholar's event, but it is free for all to attend. Community members can bring children in costume who can march in the parade, According to the Old Farmer's Almanac, the next full moon occurs on Saturday, October 28, 2023, and peaks at 4.24 p.m. Eastern Time. Something interesting about this is that parts of the world will witness a partial lunar eclipse during the full moon on October 28th in the United States. 
Only those located in the portion of the northeast will be able to see it, and only the penumbral stage will be visible. Lunar eclipses happen a few times a year and only during a full moon when the sun, earth, and moon align with our planet in the middle. The sun casts Earth's reddish shadow onto the moon, creating an eclipse, whether total, partial, or prenumbral, the most subtle. Here's Alana with the special school segment. Thanks, Tumi. Attention middle school families. Our school is excited to announce that we will be introducing a range of engaging middle school clubs for our students. The clubs will provide our scholars with opportunities to explore various interests and form new friendships during their lunch periods. We value the input of students and would like to ensure the clubs we offer are of good interest to them. A Google form has been created for students to access through their Google Classroom and the morning messages. The this form will allow students to indicate their preference and interests, and your child's participation in completing the form will greatly contribute to the planning and development of the clubs. Please remind your child to complete the form by October 24th if they are interested in joining a club. Their responses will guide the planning team in creating the clubs and finalizing the schedule. Once the clubs are established, all interested students will be provided with passes to attend their scheduled club meeting period during their lunch period. Please reach out to your child's counselor with any questions. Here's Patrick with the Scholar in the Spotlight. A Scholar in the Spotlight was not submitted for this particular week. However, if you would like to celebrate the accomplishment of a Scholar, a staff member, or even a parent in our school community, or highlight a special event for our Scholars in the Spotlight segment, please make sure to email a photo and a short blurb to Mr. Racinos or fill out the form located in our landing page under the important links section. And that's it for the event preview for this week. We are Toomey, Patrick, and Alana, and we'll see you next time when we bring you more news from the Scholars Academy and the world. Until next time.